Uh, welcome to WBP Star. Uh, I would introduce you to uh, Dimitri, Dimitri Hulis. Uh, he's one of our uh, uh, important guys in, uh, in our pastry team. Uh, today we will, we will present you our uh, edible honeycomb. Uh, uh, we, will, we have made a crisp from fermented celery, celery egg uh, with honey. Uh, we, we made it very thin, that you have a very delicate and small crisp uh, that really looks like a, uh, like a honeycomb. Um, we have uh, some personalized bee boxes uh, that we made with uh, two different layers inside. Uh, this box will go to the table uh, to also uh, represent uh, uh, the honeycomb uh, that's inside. Um, inside of the dish uh, we have a glass with different layers. It's, uh, it's all very soft. Uh, we will present it on bee poles uh, to also have the smells of the, uh, of the bees and of the honeycomb. And inside we have different layers of um, uh, fresh Guernsey milk, um, a biscuit of almonds, so it's, uh, it's a different components in here. We will start on the, on the bottom with a biscuit of almonds, uh, really for the texture. Um, with that we have um, uh, a jelly of unpasteurized uh, Guernsey milk, a jelly of fermented apricot and a jelly of um, fermented honey with celeriac. Uh, for me it's very important that uh, the amount uh, of honey, apricots and milk is in, in, a, in a good base uh, because you have to taste everything. When, when you will, will have a bite uh, uh, from the glass uh, you will recognize all the flavors that I just told you. Um, on here Dimitri already um, uh, filled uh, uh, the silicon mud with uh, uh, with the uh, the base with the crisp base. Uh, we made a mold uh, with all small uh, all the small details from it from a honeycomb, and it's really delicate. It's it's really it, it's a it's a big shit work to to make it. It was a big uh, progress uh, of three four months um, to make a mold uh, that's uh, uh, easily to uh, to wrap out. We will bake it for a couple of minutes. Uh, uh, then we have to uh, put it uh, downwards like this and uh, uh, we have to um, uh, get the biscuit out. Uh, we have to do it when it's hot uh, because when we do it after it will break very easy. Uh, and then when it's warm we directly have to cut it uh, uh, into the circles uh, that we have in here. And then we bake it further until it's uh, golden brown and crisp. Uh, would you like to take the sorbet? You can do it on the glass directly. So with the presentation, um, for me it's, it's very important that when we uh, when we make something, also like this dessert, uh, that it should be uh, something that looks realistic. Um, so in here, you also see um, a kind of the bee wax. Uh, that's normally on the uh, on the honeycomb. I will open up a little of holes because it's also uh, the way how it looks in, in natural. If you see it in here, if I press it, you see the the constancy of the of the gelatin. Uh, it's very important that it's tasty. Uh, for me, it's not uh, it's not good to, to have a dessert that that's only uh, good for its looks. Uh, but it's more important that all the different layers have the, the perfect balance uh, in this dessert. So this is the surprise for uh, for our guests. Uh, if the, the box is going to the table, we have the two layers. So we have the sorbet of uh, fermented apricots, also with some honey inside. Uh, uh, that's the first layer. The second layer is the edible honeycomb with uh, apricot, celeriac and the Guernsey milk. So this is uh, one of our desserts uh, from Ressan Thank you.